Charlie Boy drops Bonshek after Shetty Mart said, 8,000 Naira we change life of a serious Nigerian youth. <laughs> Imagine. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for late stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerian entertainer and activist Chas Oputa, popularly known as Charlie Boy, has launched a scattering critic of Vice President Kasim Shetima's recent statement in which he allegedly claimed that 8,000 Naira could transform the life of a serious Nigerian youth. The Vice President Kasim Shetima's recent statement in which he allegedly ascertained that 8,000 Naira can change the life of a youth who knows what he is doing has ignited firestorm, firestorm of controversy across Nigeria social media. The comment made amidst a backdrop of soaring inflation and economic hardship has been met with widespread disbelief and anger, highlighting the stark disconnect between the realities faced by ordinary Nigerians and perceived detachment of the political elites. The statement simply dismissive of the gravity of the economic challenges confronting the nation has been widely interpreted as insensitive and out of touch with the struggles of the average Nigerian youth. The cost of living has skyrocketed in recent years with basic necessities like food, fuel, and transportation becoming increasingly unaffordable. For many, the purchasing power of the Nigerian Naira has significantly eroded, leaving many struggling to make ends meet. The vice president's assumption that a paltry sum of 8,000 Naira could meaningfully impact the life of a young person particularly in the context of the current economic climate, has been met with in incredulity and outrage. The critics argued that such a statement demonstrated a profound lack of understanding of the realities faced by ordinary Nigerians, particularly the youth, who are disproportionately affected by unemployment and poverty. The widespread reaction to the vice president's statement underscores the growing frustration and disillusionment among Nigerians with the current state of the economy and perceived lack of empathy from those in position of power. The statement has served as a catalyst for a renewed wave of public discourse on the need for the effective economic policies that addresses the pressing need of the Nigerian people, particularly the youth. Nigerians on social media have been reacting to Shetima's statement, questioning how realistic it is in today's economy. Some have expressed their doubts and frustrations with what the vice president said. Charlie Boy, known for his outspoken nature, and advocacy for social justice, took to social media to express his outrage and disbelief at the vice president's remark. Charlie Boyce pointed critic of Vice President Shetima's 8,000 Naira remark escalated further with the entertainer directly challenging the statement. Practicality. He posed a rhetoric question asking if 8,000 Naira would be sufficient for his own children to start their lives. This direct, this direct challenge and meet to a light. Okay, this direct challenge and meet to a light the disconnect between the vice president's statement and the realities of everyday Nigerians particularly the youth. Despite his strong disapproval, Charlie Boy concluded this 
critic with a note of understanding, stating that he wouldn't he wouldn't hold the vice president and his team accountable for their statements. He then shifted the focus on the vice president's own financial resources, questioning the amount of money allocated for furnishing his residence. The shift in focus and made to highlight the perceived disparity between the vice president's wealth and the economic struggle faced by ordinary Nigerians. In his words, Chetima, now my Pekins, you say 8,000 naira could do for them to start life. I don't blame Una for all this Unayaya talk. How many billions they give you to finish your house? This controversy surrounding the vice president's remark highlights the importance of responsible and um, practical leadership, particularly in the time of economic hardship. It underscores the need for policymakers to engage with the realities faced by ordinary citizens and to formulate policies that are responsive to their needs and aspirations. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.